Welcome back to TV Learns. I'm Mrs. Batty from Tanker Verde Elementary School. Hello, I'm Dr. Lent from Tanker Verde. And I am Mrs. Herfkins from Agua Caliente. And I'm Mrs. Reitz from Agua Caliente Elementary. I am looking for some audience participation today, so I'm wondering if you three lovely ladies can tell me what today is. Today mm -hmm. is Wacky, Wacky Wednesday. Wednesday. Fabulous, you are correct. Today we have a game and it is called Two Facts and a Fiction. So all four of us have come ready. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Got it. Yeah. We have all come ready with three things about our school. But the trick is two of those things are facts. One of those things is a fiction. And we have to guess which is a fiction. All right. I'm going to get us started today. Okay. All right, so my first one is ACES is the oldest building in the Tinker Verde School District. Mm -hmm. Ace the Coyote lives in the library all summer long. Okay. And our bell has been a part of the school since it began, but it was restored in 2000. Well, I'm thinking that summer, it's so hot and, and Ace would probably want to spend time in that library. So that seems to be a true statement to me. I think so because I'm pretty sure that our school is older, but they're building, we were in different buildings. So I think, hmm. And I don't know anything about the bell, but I'd like to know more. <laughs> Which one do we think is a fact? No, which one do you which one do you think is okay, a fiction? Which one do you think is fiction? Yeah. I'm going okay. to guess the bell since I'm not I'm not certain about that bell. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. It is that is actually true. And the fiction is that Ace the Coyote does not live in the library all summer. And that is what uh, I opened with. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he lived it, there. <laughs> it does seem logical, but he does not. Okay. Where does well, he live? I can't tell you, it's a secret. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's a secret, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, all three of mine are related to when our school used to be on what is now the Emily Gray campus. Okay. okay. So right. when Tinker Birdie was over there as an elementary school, the first one, we had hitching posts for horses. Mm -hmm. Or Mrs. Batty's father was the principal. Oh. Or the kids had to wear uniforms. Um, for the first three years that they were there. All right, I do know Mrs. Batty's dad was the principal at Tinker Verde before. So mm -hmm. that one I think is, a, I know is a fact. But the other two, which one do you think Mrs. Herkins is a fiction? I don't fiction? know. I don't know I've heard of a school that had hitching posts before, but we do yeah. have a lot of horses out in our neighborhood. So maybe that one is the truth. So. I'm going to say we're going to go with, what do you think, the uniforms? I think so, too. I think that's a fiction. You are correct. There oh, was. yay. <laughs> we did not wear uniforms. No uniforms. But they did have pitching posts. <laughs> they did. Wow. Very good. Okay, so here are some um, things about ACEs, and let me know which one you think is fiction. So the first one is the coyote statue by the front of the school was not only built by the class of 2012, but it's also stuffed with student future wishes. Ooh. Or the second one is the cistern that was donated by the PTG for the watershed project holds 1,000 gallons of water. Wow. And the third one is Mr. Beach has been teaching first grade in the same classroom for 30 years. Well, I just read an article about Mr. Beach and it said 28 years. Yeah. So I'm I'm that. thinking that's a fiction. I think you're mm -hmm. trying to trick us on that one. Yeah, I agree. Actually, he has been there for 30 years. And the one that's um, fiction is actually the cistern. It holds 2,500 gallons of water, not 1,000. Wow. So, wow. Mr. Beach has actually been there 30 years in the same classroom teaching first grade. That is amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have three things about Tinker Birdie Elementary School. Okay, let's hear them. Here we go. Our mascot used to be Bumper Bear. Bumper Bear. <laughs> Bumper Bear. The wow. hit eight, uh, 1980s and 1990s Nickelodeon TV show titled Hey Dude, which was a slam dunk in my opinion. 
<laughs> was filmed on the Tango Verde Elementary School campus, oh. or that our campus is currently at its third location. Third location. I know two locations. Is yes. it third location? But Bumper Bear? I don't Bumper know about Bear it. seems like that's a no-go. Tank of Bumper think, Bears? Yeah, I can't think of Bumper Bear as a mascot. I'm going to go with that one. You yeah. too? Oh, okay. Unfortunately, the Nickelodeon show was filmed at the Tankaverde Guest Ranch, oh. not Tankaverde Elementary School. So, Whoa, that really? was, that's that's so our mascot was Bumper Bear, and this is our third location. Oh, interesting. Oh. So, I'm glad you guys are at the get goes now. Yes, yes. me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Wacky Wednesday, and we will see all of you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.